Alrighty, good day, good day everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this reading is going to be for Libra. So if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit like, comment, and subscribe, tap that notification bell so you get all the updates and alerts. And if you're one of the originals to the channel, welcome back. I really appreciate you guys tuning in every week. Alright, so let's go ahead and see what Spirit has for Libra. Spirit, what do we have for Libra? All right. All right, Libra. So, Spirit is saying that it's time for you to go ahead and make these plans and focus on them. All right. So, when anytime you see the Shield Maiden card, you know that, you know, a lot has happened. A lot has transpired. You know, and you see, like, the Shield Maiden. She has a lot of battle wounds. All right. She has a lot of battle wounds from, you know, life just hitting really hard. But Spirit is saying it's time. They want you to go ahead and make these plans and focus on these plans so that you can start seeing um, some things unfold here in this new season. And it's saying that um, you need to embrace this energy of peace, like let go of the need to be right. Like there's no need for you to, uh, you know, just be the peacemaker. There's no need for you to be upset in this energy right here. You know, I know it's retrograde and a lot of people are feeling a lot of different things, but Spirit is saying that just be the peacemaker in this situation. Let's embrace this energy of peace. Let's flow in peace. Everything that's happening right now, just be at peace because that's how you really going to receive these messages and these signals from the divine. You have to be at peace. That's how you're going to know which plans are effective and all these different things, okay? Spirit is also say, be fearless and stand strong. So you already have this strength type of energy so the the divine wants you to really embrace that warrior energy so that you can be fearless and stand strong and whatever whatever turbulence that you're dealing with right now they want you to be fearless and and stand firm in this energy they want you to embody this warrior energy because there there have been some things that came up all right and so these things coming up is kind of like got you in some way feeling down in the dumps and other times feeling feeling good but they want you to always embrace that warrior energy because it's just a, it's just a test it's not something that's going to last for a long time okay spirit also saying be devoted and committed so when you begin to make these plans and you begin to you know do all of your different practices and your spiritual practice they want you to be devoted and committed and they don't want you to start it and put it down they want you to actually start it and keep it moving all right so they want you to be devoted and committed they want you to show your devotion when it comes to your plans and all of the other things moving forward in in this season all right Spirit is also saying that they want you to be open to healing information. There are a lot of different information that's going to come your way, especially when it comes to healing. You know, whether it's natural healing, whether it's spiritual healing. The divine is saying that they need you to be very, very open to this information. Because again, while you're in this energy of peace and you're doing this work, they're going to be sending you downloads and you need to be open to it so that you can receive it. All right. They want you to definitely receive the information that they, they are sending to you. Spirit is also saying, trust in the unknown, all right? I don't, you know, sometimes things, if you don't see it, it's hard to believe it. But Spirit is saying, believe it even when you don't see it, all right? Spirit is saying that, you know, regardless to what's going on right now, they're going to be there with you. That's why you have that Father Sky energy. Father Sky is saying to trust them, all right? Trust them and trust that, you know, have faith pretty much. Have faith in the decisions that you're making, all right and you know things are going to begin to just work itself out but trust in the unknown although you can't see it still trust in it all right as long as you believe it that's all that matters okay all right spirit what else do we have for libra i know that those primaries went really fast huh libra yeah right. straight to the point all right all right so what does the spirit have for libra all right, so Spirit is saying be bold, Libra, okay? It's saying unleash the adventurous, the adventurous side and take risks and be daring. So take those risks. You know, you got these things that you've been thinking of. You, you know, you, you it's kind of like it's kind of like you know what you want to do, but you don't know what you want to do. So Spirit is saying that it's okay for you to take risks. Explore, what, explore these different things, all right? It, you don't have to be set on one particular thing, but Spirit is saying explore these different things and be daring, be be optimistic, okay? Just, just try something out, all right? That's why it's good for you to make that plan. 
make a plan about multiple different things. If you whatever whatever um you decide, like make a plan on several different things and then try all of them, you know, and see what works for you. Find your niche because this is the season for the Libra to find their niche and figure out what it is that they truly want to do and figure out what their life purposes are, okay? All right, Libra. Okay, so definitely some some work with Mother Nature, some environmentalistic stuff going on here for the Libra. All right, so you're going to be doing a lot of work with Mother Earth and helping Mother Earth, okay? But, yeah, some environmentalism. That's that's Every time I see that environmentalist card, I'm just like, wow, you know, it's, it's people that, you know, really care about society, really care about so social issues and things like that. So you're going to be doing a lot to help Mother Earth here, okay? Whether you're, you know, into some natural-based healing or, you know, you know you're into some um you know some environmental healing uh just working with M mother nature to help heal people okay so and this is very good reading for libra all right but you guys seriously you got a lot in your brain and y'all don't know which direction to go so they want you to make a plan and choose one of the directions and try all of them they don't want you to limit yourself, Libra. Spirit don't want you to li limit yourself to one thing. They want you to try all the things that you're thinking about. All right. So now I'm going to pull your spiritual gifts and see what spirit wants you to know about your spiritual journey for this new season. And I always say new season is because, you know, we're getting ready to come into the springtime energy. So, yeah, we just about to see what you got here. All right, so boom. So infinite abundance in this new season for the Libra, all right? So Spirit is saying that you're fully supported as you devote yourself to the divine, to your divine life purpose. So once you uh, explore and once you make your plans and explore, the divine is saying you're going to have an infinite amount of abundance. And because what, what you're exploring is in direct alignment with divine purpose. And so the divine is going to support this life purpose. So you are projected to see an infinite amount of abundance, Libra. Spirit is saying you're going to be teaching people and you're going to be inspiring, okay? So you're going to be inspiring young people to learn, Libra. Um, you know, you have that niche like kids love you. I don't know what it is about you guys, but kids just love you. So if you have a passion for teaching the youth, you're definitely going to be, um, you're definitely going to inspire them. So for some of you guys, your spiritual work is going to be in healing young people, you know, teaching young people and helping them cultivate their dreams and aspirations and things like that based on all of the principles and the things that you've been through throughout your life. Okay. And Spirit is saying that y'all going to be doing a lot of studying, which I can see, you know, all of the studying things going on, saying that reading and research education helps you gain confidence and clarity about your career. So, you know, some of you guys have already been doing a lot of studying, been doing a lot of Internet searches, a lot of Google searches, a lot of reading, just trying to figure out what your niche is and what you really want to do. Like you're taking all of your interest and you're doing researches on it and you're, and you're thinking about it and you're just trying to figure it all out but don't think so long that you're procrastinating remember spirit saying to make those plans so all that research that you're doing write these things down and begin to explore them okay all right let's go ahead and grab old faithful here so that we can get more into this reading all right libra spirit, what else do we have the libra so we're gonna go ahead and life purpose it up we did life path, we did spiritual path, we're going to life purpose now. Alright, so what do we have for Libra? Alright. Alright, Libra. So Spirit is saying be patient. You know, you've been working, you're, you're working towards something. So be patient. What's going to happen is it's going to begin to sprout. You planted these seeds already. Alright, you planted these seeds already. You know, and so once you start putting action towards those things, you'll just be patient and you're going to see how it unfolds right before your very eyes. There's a lot of memories of love here. OK, so there's a lot of memories of love here. You know, maybe thinking back on your childhood or maybe even memories of love right now with um, people around you. So you're going to be exploring, a, reflecting a lot here on, you know, on family, friends, relationships. So a lot of reflecting, a lot of reflecting. A lot of reflection on your financial situation definitely gonna be um, something to look out for in this new season okay 
divine is clarifying and saying that you're going to have victory and success in anything that you do. You know, you're going to be triumphant. You're going to have victory and success in anything that you do. So whatever you decide out of all of the ideas that you've been researching and thinking about Libra, the divine is saying that you're going to be successful and triumphant in it. Spirit, what else do we have for Libra? Ooh. I'm telling you, Libra has a great reading. Mm -hmm. Spirit is saying that, you know, you need to open up a little bit more. Like, there are people around you, and you can receive help from anybody. Don't try to do things on your own. But the divine is saying that you need to open up a little bit more, especially when it comes to things that you're thinking, things that you're feeling, things that you've been reflecting on. So you've been a bit closed off. So being able to open up a little bit more in the, in the new season. In, in some ways, some of you have been a bit detached. All right. And so because you've been detached, you know, that's probably why um, the divine is looking for you to open up more because you've been detached from, um, you know, people. You've been attached from, you know, different environments. You see, like, it's kind of like she just kind of took her whole self out of this equation here. So just look out for that detachment. You know, you don't want to be so detached that, you know, you kind of like. Yes, detach and focus on your plans, but not so much so that you're closing people out and you're shutting them out. Because remember, there are people that can help you in any situation here. And so because you have people that can help you, you don't need to be too detached. You actually need to open up to the ones that, you know, you trust and things like that. Not the ones that you don't trust, though. Let them go. But the ones that you trust, you definitely want to open up to them. You may be even detecting to just really focus on your spirituality, okay? Maybe you just be detecting for those reasons. All right, Spirit, what else do we have for Libra? What kind of therapy should Libra focus on here? Angel therapy deck, Libra. All right, so light worker here. All right, Libra. So you are a powerful light worker. It's safe for you to be powerful, your spiritual powerful power brings great blessings and love and service to the divine so that's that's another thing when you're activating these gifts here the divine is very pleased and they're saying that you're a powerful light worker that's why you have so much influence and i believe you ever notice like this is one of those situations where you know people always come to you offloading their problems and they offload their problems because they can actually feel your light you know although you may feel like well how am i no, they can actually feel your light. That's why the divine said that you are a powerful light worker and you are a blessing to people. And when you help people heal, although it may seem draining to you, when you help people heal, the divine is pleased and the divine begins to bless you because you're you're working in your um, you're working in your gifts. OK. All right. And so, yeah, definitely going to be a time for release, So. They want you to work with the angels to let go of what no longer serves a purpose for you. So I'm talking about releasing toxic energies, releasing memories of your past, um, relationships, releasing, mem re releasing, you know, any limiting beliefs, just releasing all of that. Whatever you're hurting from, you know, if you're hurting from things of your past, like dealing with your parents, if you're hurting from, you know, um, relationships with your children. It's like the divine is saying, just release this energy. They need you to release this energy so that you can really activate, okay? But this release is going to be very important, all right? This release is going to be very important. And that's why you have to, you know, do your spiritual practice. Although you may be doing well, you know, focusing more of your attention on releasing energies, okay? Releasing those energies, all right? I'm going to tap into your love life. So I'll pull three different love cards. And whichever one resonates with you, I believe that's the one that you should, you know, focus your attention on and focus your work towards. All right. All right. Let's see. Okay. So very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. All right. So. 
Spirit is wanting you to decide what you want in a relationship so that it comes to you. So for those of you that are single, remember the law of attraction. What you speak and what you vibrate is what you manifest. And so decide what it is that you want in your life. And that way the divine will send that to you. All right. And if you're in a relationship, still decide what you want. And the divine will send it to you. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Okay. So someone is this is you know being deceptive here so you know if this person is being deceptive you know this is what you need to focus your attention on in what ways are they deceiving you all right but if you're if you're having issues in your relationship it's definitely deception involved so you may want to you know talk to spirit about that as well and religious factors so your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual past all right so spirituality may be you know a hindrance in your relationship it may be helpful in your relationship all right so you really need to focus your attention on that and see you know are you and this person aligned or are you and this person disaligned also how much of that influences your your what you look for in a relationship and if you're single how does this play a part in you um, choosing your partner? Okay, so religious definitely playing a significant factor in your relationship. All right, all right, sir. What else do we have for you? Ooh, what else do we have for you, bro? Okay. Unconditional love. So, love yourself, others, in every situation, no matter how the outward appearance may be. So, typically when there's the peace card and there's the unconditional love, whatever it is, the divine is saying that they want you to love yourself regardless to what's going on or what the situation is. So, if you're in turbulence right now, just continue to love on yourself. Also, love other people, even when it's hard, because... Sometimes it's hard to love people when they're wrong or they're not, you know, doing the right things. It's hard to love on them. But the divine is saying that they want you to express love anyway. And that doesn't mean just ignore what it is that they're doing, okay? What it means is that with every action, they want you to do it in love so that nothing is done out of hate or nothing is done out of malice, okay? All right, so express yourself through creative activities. Get back to some of the things you love. If you enjoy art, get back to that. If you enjoy music, get back to that. But being able to express yourself in creative activity, all right? Being able to express yourself in creative activity and peace. Again, embodying peace. There's no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. So the divine is saying you don't have to worry about anything, Libra. Everything is working out beautifully and they have this... They have this um, desire to provide you with abundance and that's what's going to happen. Okay, just make sure that you're keeping your spirituality and keeping your, um, doing your work. All right, applying these, applying these different uh, methods to your healing. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and recap this message really quick. All right, so what, this, what the divine is saying is, you know, it's time for you to make a plan. They know that. You have a lot of ideas, but you just haven't figured out what it is that you truly want to do yet. All right. But they're wanting you to make this plan and write it all down and then tackle all of it. Not at one time, but just try all of it. It's kind of like, you know, when you go and sample something before you buy it, you know, sample all of it. See what works best for you. See, see which one is most enjoyable to you and then fulfill that. Okay, they also wanting you to embrace the energy of peace. Like it's a lot of turbulence going on, you know, on and off. And they're saying that now, just be at peace anyway, regardless of what other people are doing around you, regardless of what you're feeling, you know, try to find peace. Also embracing that warrior energy and standing strong in everything that you decide to do. They want you to maintain your devotion and your commitment to this process. The divine is saying that they're going to be sending you a lot of messages, a lot of downloads about healing and, and medical and all of this stuff. And they want you to be open to receive it because all of this information that they're sending you is based solely on your divine purpose and your divine alignment. Father Sky is saying that, hey. I'm with you here supporting you and the divine is letting us know that, hey, 
they're gonna support you throughout the whole you know throughout the whole transition they're wanting you to be bold and saying that there's gonna be a lot of work with you're gonna be really assisting mother earth here and I don't know whether you know it's gonna be with natural medicine what is gonna be with herbalism like what is it gonna be with but the divine is saying that you're gonna be doing something with the environment and you're gonna be working hand in hand with mother earth you're gonna be reflecting on different memories a lot of different memories of love and everything is gonna be coming to you in the season but the divine is saying it's okay just maintain peace and they want you to release these emotions that keep holding you back okay they want you to, and be patient be patient because you are going to be abundant and you are going to be triumphant you are going you are going to have success a lot of your a lot of your life purpose you know it's working with children and helping them heal doing a lot of studying on the things that you know that you like right and then putting those things into action the divine is saying that you are a powerful light worker, which is why so many people just come and lay all their problems out on you. You don't know why. They just come and lay all their problems out on you. And then they leave feeling better and you feel exhausted. You know, so that's time for you to ground that energy, okay? You grounding that energy and transmuting that energy into something else. All right, so with the relation, they, they definitely want you to open up more because you've been feeling a sense of detachment. And they don't want you to be so detached that, you know, you don't want to be around anyone. But they definitely want you to open up a little bit more to the ones that love you and care about you. Manifesting the relationship that you want or manifesting the ideas that you want in your relationship. If you're in a relationship and there's some turbulence and maybe some deception that you need to unmask in that relationship. And for some of you, your religious factor is, you know, playing a big role in, you know, how this relationship goes. So you may need to even look at that. Um, unconditional love regardless to what's going on just show love anyway you know give give people love even when they don't deserve love you know and spirit is saying getting back to yourself like don't lose yourself in this you know do the things that you enjoy you know have fun get out go see some things get involved in art you know just things that libra love to do all right. And overall, be at peace because you have nothing to worry about. They are going to take care of all of your needs and all of your desires. Just stay in peace. So that's pretty much it, Libra. I hope you guys really enjoyed this reading. If you did, please leave me a comment. Hit thumbs up. Share with your friends if you care. And I'll talk to you later.